Hey, it's Chris. The iPad is a truly capable machine. It can help you do great work, great things. But before you can do truly great things with your iPad, you first have to figure out what's worth working on in the first place. Now, I recently used my iPad to help me figure out what kind of great things I wanted to be using it to do. And in this video, I wanna share with you, an iPad user, the framework that I used so that you can go out and do great things, fulfilling things, meaningful things, so that you can figure out what it would mean to live your life to the fullest so that it's worth using your iPad to the fullest, if that makes sense. Because this is such a capable device and you wanna use it for something that's worth your time, that's really worthwhile. By the way, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm also gonna share with you my personal context collection that I used to supercharge the framework that I'm gonna be talking about in this video. All right, now before we get into this pretty deep topic, let me just give you some personal background as to how this came about in the first place. Let me start by talking about my job. I get to sit here and be in front of the camera, talk to people and connect with people about tech that I like and help them get the most out of their tech. It's a great job, it pays the bills, but at the same time, it's not fulfilling. It doesn't feed my soul. I'll just put it this way, I don't feel like I was born to sit here in front of the camera and talk about tech. You know, I wanna do something that matters more in life and maybe even in history. I wanna have an impact on the world. And so for a while now, I've really had this yearning deep down inside to spend my time thinking more deeply on important topics and writing about it and engaging with the wider world about things other than just technology. So it became apparent a while back that it would be good for me to launch a personal brand outside of Daily Tech where Daily Tech wouldn't go anywhere. I would still do this. It's still fun to me. But where I would have a venue to talk about things that I felt were more important for me and for other people. And it's all starting with the Twitter account, so I'll link that up down below if you want to be there from the jump and kind of follow along with this journey. But there came a point where I realized I wanted to do that, but I didn't know what it was that I wanted to talk about that would feel meaningful to me, that would be fulfilling and more important, worth spending my time on. And in this video, I wanna share with you the framework that I ended up putting together that I went through that helped me understand what it was that I wanted to do with my life, what I felt kind of my purpose and calling was. And the reason I'm sharing it with you is because it's the best feeling in the world to have this clarity about who I am, why I feel like I matter in the bigger scheme of things, and what it is that I wanna be doing, the path that I wanna be on and take, and I want you to have that same feeling as well, that purpose. So the framework that I came up with is the time investment thesis. And what I want you to do is draw a big Z on your screen in a note app, or you could use a piece of paper if you don't have an iPad handy. And this is gonna be your template for putting together your time investment thesis. That's what I'm gonna help you work through. So here's the thinking behind this. A lot of people out there think of time as something to either fill or to kill. And it's unfortunate because time is such a valuable thing. You only have so much of it, it's a really good mind shift to think of it as something that you can invest, something valuable like money that you can put to work. Because what you do with your time really does matter, not just for you, but for the world in general. And there's so many people out there just distracting themselves into oblivion day after day. I feel like so many people out there are just drowning in this sea of hopelessness and purposelessness. They've just come to care about only making more money and that's it. And that's why people really need, I think, a time investment thesis. They're gonna think through what they're gonna do with their lives. So my thinking was when an investor goes to invest money, let's say they're a startup investor, they develop a thesis. Why am I going to invest in X, Y, or Z startup? And this is their strategy. It's their guidebook that informs their investments. And a time investment strategy is no different. This is your guidebook for how you're going to invest your time and effort. It's telling you what you should be working on with all this great tech that you've acquired, that you've got in your life. By the way, I do just wanna mention the productivity course is getting some great feedback, so if you wanna be more productive in the Apple ecosystem, then check it out, that's linked up down below. But coming back to our giant Z, we're gonna add some dots and some arrows to this and we're gonna label them. So these dots and arrows are gonna represent the stages that we're gonna go through in this zigzag pattern to go from having no purpose or idea about what you should be doing with your time to having a fully developed time investment thesis. So worth doing. I hope you don't skip out on this. All right, so dot one is labeled self-discovery. That's where we're gonna start. Dot two, market analysis. I'll explain that in a second, really like that. Personal mission is dot three, and then we arrive at time investment thesis dot number four. Now we're gonna label these arrows too because the arrows are what happens in between 
each dot or each stage. Okay, and I'm gonna label the arrows in green. The first one you're gonna label reflect and analyze. The second one is identify opportunities. And then the third one is strategy development. And again, the arrows represent what you're doing in between the steps or the dots. Now, you're gonna to wanna to take some time and think through each of these dots. This might take some of you 20 minutes to do the whole thing. Other people might take like a few days. I think it took me a few days to really understand what it was that I was thinking and feeling and then to put it down into you know the notes here and make sense of it all. So do whatever works for you. But what I did and what might be useful for you as an iPad user to think through this is to make sure that you have Stage Manager turned on and then to open up four blank notes each one labeled uh, something that corresponds with those four dots. So I've got self-discovery, market analysis, personal mission, and then my time investment thesis. We're gonna work our way from left to right. Now for dot one here, self-discovery, you're gonna wanna think about and write down your interests, your passions, and your skills. So think about your job. What activities are you doing? What are you naturally good at? This is blank slate stuff. Like if money wasn't a thing, if you didn't have to go to work to earn money, what would you do with your time? What would you really be passionate about and want to dig into? Write that stuff down. Now for dot two, the market analysis, here you're gonna think about the world as a marketplace and you have something to offer in that marketplace. The world has a lot of people in it, true, but a lot of those people are sheep, they're clones. They're mimetically just doing what they see other people doing. And there's a lot of things left unsaid and undone that somebody like you can come along and offer that other people are gonna want. There's a gap in the marketplace and you can fill it. You need to reflect and analyze your self-discovery notes and think about what people are doing or not doing and what's successful, what isn't. Look for the gaps, look for the opportunities and think about what you can uniquely bring to the table. And there's something, trust me. And that brings us to the personal mission, dot number three here. Now you wanna think about what is it that you want to contribute? What is it that you wanna achieve? What do you wanna contribute? Whatever it is, it should align with your skills and your interests that you thought about in dot one and the market opportunities that you've identified at dot two. This is where everything's really starting to come together. You're starting to get a clear idea of who you are and what you want to do and what you have to contribute, which of course leads us to the fourth dot or the fourth note, time investment thesis. This is what it's all about. I know this seems like it's schoolwork or something, but it's about you. So it should be very interesting. And yeah, it requires some work, but wow, is it gonna pay off to know what it is that you wanna do with your life, to have your purpose mapped out, and then to have something you can refer to and say, all right, what am I gonna be doing next? Oh, that, and how am I gonna do it? Oh, I've already thought about it. So a good time investment thesis is gonna have these components, a purpose statement, a personal strengths and skills section. You're gonna talk about the opportunities and the market analysis that you've done, your goals and objectives. You definitely wanna map that out. And for the goals and objectives, just use the SMART framework, something that's S specific, M measurable, A achievable, realistic, R, and then time bound with a deadline T. Then you're gonna to wanna to have your action plan. How are you gonna make it happen? Think about your anticipated challenges. So when they come up, you already know how to handle it. Evaluation metrics. You wanna think about how am I going to assess this and make sure that what I'm doing is working, that it's being fruitful, that my effort is invested well. Think about that ahead of time so you can adapt. And that brings us to the last section of your investment thesis, your reflection and adaptation plan. Think about that ahead of time. So this is just some sample information that I threw in here so that it looks populated, but you can get an idea of as you go from left to right here and work through that Z structure and finally end up with your time investment thesis, how valuable of an exercise this is. I think you're gonna have people who have thought about this stuff and people who haven't. They're just cruising through life, continuing to try to distract themselves you know, from a reality that they're not really enjoying versus the people who are like, no, I'm gonna take control of my life and try to craft my reality into something that's meaningful. So I did put together a context collection in free form and I labeled it what I'm doing slash building my personal brand outside of the Daily Tech brand. It's a big board, as you can see, it takes a while to load, but I've got examples of different personal brands that I can reference and check out as I'm building my own. I've got a bunch of different sticky notes here that kind of tell me, you know, what's the personal structure that I want to be working with. 
Uh, how am I going to operate this part of the business? What are, where am I gonna get ideas? What's my workflow gonna be like? I've really spent a lot of time thinking about this and loading it up with resources. And if you're unfamiliar with the idea of context collections and cognitive catalysts, I made a video about that recently, which I'll link up down below, which you can check out. But I used this context collection, my personal brand context collection, to supercharge this Z structure, my time investment thesis, and it just brought everything together so nicely. You know, so I have a really good idea now as I go into this that I'm interested in helping people with purposeful content creation and solopreneurship with self-improvement, talking about humanity in the age of AI. How do you lean into your humanity? How do you also lean in and capitalize on AI? You know, what are the extremes? Should you be totally disconnected or totally connected? Is there a balance? I'm really interested in that. So if you're interested in self-improvement, and if you wanna make the most of your life, you might consider following me and the new personal brand. Again, I'll link up that Twitter account where things are gonna get started very shortly. It's gonna be followed by a YouTube channel and newsletter and Daily Tech's not going anywhere, but I'm gonna be in both places making the most of my time and my life. So I hope you'll join me there if that's of interest. Also check out the course, Learning to Be Productive. Again, the early feedback is great. People seem to be really enjoying it, getting a lot out of it. You wanna hurry and get in there before the temporary inflation relief pricing goes away. We have a newsletter. It's great for discovering cool apps and accessories and Apple News all curated time-saving format. Comes out every Friday. You can sign up for that down below as well. I think you'll really like it. Otherwise, I hope this was really useful to you and I'll catch you in the next video. Later.